Welcome back to Satisfactory. I'm so glad you're here. During our last episode, or maybe it was an episode or two ago, we found a steel recipe worth using. It's going to allow us to use less coal, so I'm a little bit more efficient on the coal side. And we have lots of iron over here, so these ratios are actually better because our current location has lots of iron. So we're going to use this coal, and this coal, of course, is the compacted coal. In our previous episode, we saved up our research so we could get the compacted coal early and use that for our power plant. So I'm here. And uh, assuming that we keep to our original plan, we'll have 551 compacted coal available to us per minute. All right. And that's at level five belts, of course. But right now we have access to somehow I picked up that sulfur. Let's put that back. Um, we have access to 270. The belts go at 270. Once we upgrade it. So we can upgrade this to 270. So the plan is to send the sulfur down like normal, use our compacted coal factory. You can just barely see the water tower over there. So we're going to upgrade all the way down and then bring the compacted coal back to this point so we don't have to deal with all these pillars. And then we'll just ship it straight on a conveyor bridge closer to our standard modular building locations. The reason why we want to do that is because there is, in fact, a lot of iron over there. And then we have a lot of wire over there, which will help us make the stators. And we have a lot of what's the other thing we need? Hold on. I think the steel beams take something that we've made a lot of already. No. Steel pipe, steel beam. Oh, in the encased beams. Right? Whether we use the pipes or the beams. We need the concrete, and we've got a great concrete factory over there. So if we can pull in a good chunk of compacted coal. Uh-oh. Hmm. I'm trying to live a crate-free life, so I need to take a couple things out of my inventory so I can upgrade. I think there's a one of the problems you have to think about. Yeah. <laughs> Reinforced plate, it only stacks to 100, where steel beams stack to 200. So if you try to upgrade Mark II belts made of reinforced plate to Mark III belts made out of steel beams, you're going to capture too many reinforced plates because you're going to replace them one to one, but the stacks are going to be wrong. Well, I need concrete. I probably don't need that many plates. Let's see if that's enough. But I will build the conveyor bridge on my own time. But this upgrade could be fun because we're going to have to go through. Then we're going to have to use the blueprint again. And we have upgraded the blueprint since the last time we looked at it. Then we're going to check our power, make sure that we're still pulling enough. Material to keep it running. Hmm. 
All right, so <clears throat> this one's coming down like this. And then we're just going to keep upgrading it. Oh, okay. I think we upgraded a good chunk of this last time we were here. Let's see. Yep. Looks like we're upgraded all the way in. So that side of the world is getting 270. Now we got to check the coal. We're running... Really, at the end of the day, we're only really running one of these. I think this is the... This is the lower quality coal. Let's see, that'll upgrade. Yeah, we don't need to go over it. Let's go 270. Well, we can go 210. Yeah, we'll leave this in here, though. Just so we don't use our shards on anything else. All right, so this one's doing 210. This one's doing 60, and together they're doing 270. Checking for upgrades. We've already upgraded a lot of this. All right. And it looks like it's dropping straight in. Now, why is this belt so empty? Oh, it's catching up. Let's just double check. Make sure our overflow is correct. Okay. No, it, it's good. So we are putting 270 straight in. Then over here, I put in this smart splitter, okay? While we have this, hmm, we probably want to make sure that we give priority to power. But we are using ever so slightly more than we're producing. I think they burn something like 7.1489 whatever and we've got 16 of them so that's 114 out of 270 eh. the speed of one belt is the speed of the exit belt And each floor does 75. So yeah, that means that this machine in here, without looking, is probably pretty close to full. Yeah. Let's see if we can drop another level to this. Actually, before we do that, 
Let's confirm how much we're processing here. 25 per machine, three machines per level. Oh, that's a nice shot. Let me see if I can find that shot one more time. Seeing the construction, the coal power. I don't know. It's kind of neat. All right. So right now we have a belt of 270. And each level does 75, 270 divided by 75. So four levels would be more than enough. We only need 3.6 levels, but building 0.6 levels is beyond my capacity or capability. I don't know if I have enough materials for two more. Nope, I do. All right, we're in blueprint mode. That looks like it's sticking immediately. And that looks like it's correct immediately. I mean, this looks way easy. Are we done? Feels like since I'm in blueprint mode, it snapped perfectly. That's the exit side, rotate it one away. That's the entry side. Okay. That looks like it's right. Let's click. Look at all that stuff. Can we do it again? Click. I don't, it's probably gonna, the hardest part of this is going to be to get these metal support pillars to work correctly. But we'll do that in a minute. Okay, so per the design, all we have to do is click this, connect this. Listen for the beeps. And connect this. Those two new levels are connected with inputs. Come on this side. Those two levels are connected with power. Then on this side, we need to pull the good stuff down. Not only is it done, but they're already producing. Yeah, blueprints might make the game a little too easy. <laughs> like if I, that was, oof. If I really wanted to get fancy with the blueprints, I could. But the temptation to just build a bunch of four by four buildings is pretty strong considering the ease of that expansion. I mean, that was basically instant. And with the blueprint mode, it knew exactly where to snap.
I don't know. I kind of like the half window, third window, or half window, quarter window. I'm going to leave it. So there you go. More or less done. So if we're doing 270 in on both belts successfully, which I don't see any reason why we aren't, then we should be, uh-oh, why do I see a slowdown? Oh, wait. Well, we definitely shouldn't see a slowdown at this point. I mean, why are we seeing a slowdown? We've got more machines set up than 270 per second can deal with. Oh. This Mark II belt. I'm pretty sure I fixed that in the blueprint. Let's double check. That is the downside to blueprints. Normally when you're building, if you mess up, you only mess up once. But if you mess up with a blueprint, you mess up every time you use that blueprint. I think technically... It should... Well, hmm... They're taking off 150 per minute at this level. And this can do 270 per minute. So that leaves us with 120 per minute, which is exactly how fast a Mark II belt works. Of course, up there, we still need – guess it wouldn't be that hard to check it. The biggest danger, of course, is falling. Yeah, see, this is already a Mark III. I updated the blueprint. I even updated the blueprint of that little chunk right there. These should get close. Of course, this is a huge vertical manifold at this point. So the lower levels are definitely going to take the resources first. Eh, I guess we could leave this ladder. I don't know if it's blueprint update worthy. We'll leave the ladder, but then we'll we'll close it off. We got some half levels, some half foundations, then we could do that. Alright. So now we should see constant flow, no slowdowns of both coal and sulfur. Going in, getting lifted up, getting beautifully processed, getting dropped back in. I'm seeing some slowdowns on the way out, though, that I am not a fan of. Let's check that. That's Mark three. Oh, the output bus is not fully Mark three. Uh, 
Oh, but it is. It's slowing down because it's merging in this stuff. But 25 by 25 is it's 25 on the output. Ah, one small little chunk of belt. All right, I'll double check the blueprint after this. I'm 99% sure I've updated that in the blueprint as well. But compacted coal, all set. Our ridiculously vertical factory, all set. Cranking out good stuff. That's actually a pretty cool shot. I'm going to try it in the dark. Space elevator in the background. Sure, that giant present sort of ruins the mood, but what are you going to do? There's got to be a chunk of belt somewhere in here that's not right. If it's having trouble condensing, then it should be coming out here full speed. I'm going to check one more time. If it doesn't jump out at me, we'll move on. Ah. Slow lift, but that's just going to make the merger harder. Yeah, I think that's um, going to fix the vast majority of it. I'll check the other levels to make sure, and then I'll double back and check the blueprint. Yeah, that output's way better now. These guys are backed up, so it's going to take a, a few to resolve that. Okay, so now we've got this smart splitter. What we want to do is always, always, always prioritize the power supply. So we want our coal generators to get 100% until they fill up and their backup storage fills up because we do not want to risk a power outage. And then we'll take a nice little industrial container. Right, and we'll set you to right overflow. So any extra will come out over here. And these are starting to fill up now. But to test it, to test it, see, we take that out. Now it's working. So instead of doing 50 50, we're going to do full focus on power. Making steel at this point, secondary concern. And then we'll just connect. And I kind of want to connect at the bottom one so I can lift it. 
a little shorter. And this is our output belt. Then it's going to connect right back to this bus. It's going to be a multi-directional bus, but that's okay because this is a terminal situation. Yeah, see that top one is cleaned out. It's getting chunks of resources in. I'm very happy with this, by the way. This stackable blueprint concept. That was like, I don't know, <clears throat> a lot of work done in three clicks. If you don't take the preparation time into account, of course, which no one ever does. All right, let's build the tower back up like this. And then we'll actually, you know, probably smarter to bring it down. Oh, probably even smarter to have a conveyor wall built as the target. All right, we're way too close. Let's back it up a little bit. Okay, and then we'll connect this. We'll turn it around to receive. Then we'll connect this. There you go. Compacted coals going out. Probably won't be a lot of it because we haven't totally filled up the storage for the coal power plants, but it proves that it's working. Yeah, see, it's empty after that little bit of test that we did. But right now, we're pulling 270. Each coal power plant, we have 16 of them. It's doing like 7.14 to whatever. Yeah, 114. So it shouldn't take very long for this to get filled up and start producing compacted coal. All right, and then let's see if I, sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. It's like a golden power line for some reason. Uh-oh. All right, and then we'll just, uh, Let's change it to zoo. All right. And then I don't know about you, but I think we're very close. The only question I have, I think I want to put this on a stackable conveyor pole. Just makes it a little easier to walk around. And what we'll do is we'll put it right in the middle. Then we'll connect you and lift you up a little bit. Okay, copy this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could have sworn it was seven. Could have sworn I made a video about how it was seven.
It is seven. I should have trusted my instincts. I could have saved myself. But I don't know if it's going to save anything. All right. And then compacted coal comes to right. I don't know. Where should we make this? I won't make you suffer through the full building of this bridge. It's funny because when you have the ability to walk, walk as the crow flies, <laughs> then it's a lot easier to to get to places. Even though we have coal right here, we don't have sulfur to go with it. So we'll have to figure out something else to do with this coal, or we just won't use it. That is also an option. Just because they give you a resource doesn't mean you absolutely 100% have to use it. So that would be, I mean, that's basically bringing a compacted coal all the way home. That's our cable wire copper sheet factory. That's our copper, uh, our concrete factory. That's our iron rod products or iron rod, our iron products factory, including iron rods, obviously. Modular frames, screws, iron plates. Reinforced iron plates and one other thing that I can't remember. Uh... Rotors, that's it. All the things that can be made extremely uh, exclusively with iron. And now we'll have the ability to drop compacted coal anywhere in this that we like. And then if we look at the recipe for steel, we just need lots of iron to go with it. And then we'll start cranking out steel like nobody's business. At the full five, uh, 780 belt speed, assuming that we're still using coal power, as part of our power mix, which we probably shouldn't, but I probably will. Long story. We'll have 551 compacted coal. So we'll be able to pull. We'll need to pull. For every compacted coal, we need two of these. So we're going to need two lines. 551 times 2 is obviously 1102 divided by the max belt speed at level 5. So we need 1.4 belts. So we need two belts of iron. But that, well, that's a calculation. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. I really wish you'd tell me, like, Put it on my ping me or something. Let me know where it is. But since you're not going to, I'm not going to deal with it. And she interrupted my outro. That's the real crime here. So that's it. That's uh, just prepping the ground, getting ready to build steel. Once you start making steel, I think it is a turning point in the game. You're combining two primary resources to make your primary build resource as far as the ingots go. In every other case, it's just a constructor or a smelter. Now you have to upgrade to the foundry. I'm going to say that's kind of a soft mid game, mid game, but you know, no need to get an argument over when mid game starts. We'll do six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just to get that in sync. And then we'll do seven from then on out. OK, 
Conveyor belts are amazing. They take a lot of time to set up, but once you get them set up and the resource flow is consistent, it's basically instant. I mean, it's more or less instant from that factory way over there. It's basically instant from here to here once it starts to flow because there's no transportation time. There's, I mean, the individual piece of resource, sure, but it's not like a truck where, or a tractor where you're getting nothing and then you're getting a dump or a drone where you're getting nothing and then it's dumping off or a train, you're getting nothing and then it's dumping off. So a video just discussing the pros and cons of the various transportations is probably worth it though i'm sure there's a million videos out there that do that but conveyor belts get overlooked people rush to get out of conveyor belts one two three four five six seven i know i did but you know what i'm trying to start a whole new video and i'm not trying to do that right now getting me all distracted Next video, we'll start making steel. I'll have all this built. Whether it's fully supported at that time will be another question. But it'll definitely be built. And we'll have compacted coal ready to go. Until then, thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.